So you know we have this great procedure to get uniform electric fields. Now there's a similar technique to get a uh, uniform magnetic field. Oh my gosh, I just realized something else really beautiful about it. But uh, we'll, we'll find out how to make a uniform magnetic field later. But the magnetic field, let's assume right now, is a uniform field and sort of goes all over the place. So I'm going to set this up where we've got ourselves some charges moving in this field. And I want to think about what they might do. First of all, I'm going to give you a, um, a positive charge over here. And it's going to be going well, initially, anyway, it's going to be going straight up. So that's my velocity of my positive charge. And over here, I need to label this as Q is greater than zero. So if that's a positive charge and the magnetic field is into the page all of the time, so I should note that this means into those little circles with X's in them. Then I'm going to show you another right hand rule also, and that is that um, your phalanges, that's these bones right here, your metacarpals, that's what I'm talking about, your metacarpals right here uh, are pointing in the direction of the velocity, and your fingers, those are the phalanges or digits or something, metacarpals point in the direction of the velocity, and your fingers curl into the direction of the magnetic field. Your thumb sticks out when you do that. Look, my thumb. It's like my thumb's doing whatever, and then it's whoop, and then it sticks out, right? So if I do that, keeping my velocity this direction, I should label that for you. This is the velocity vector. I am not left-handed, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> if the velocity vector is like that, and the magnetic field is in, then the force on that positive charge will be to the left. So let's identify that force with a pink vector, as we did before. That force is that direction. And as, it, uh, as it's going this way and turning that direction, it will, in fact, turn. And so its path will be like this. A moment later, it will be going this direction. And so I get the right-hand rule out. I say velocity that way, and magnetic field curls into there, and my thumb, whatever it was doing previously, says, okay, that's the direction of the force. That direction. So the force is, well, the force is now that way. And it should be the same strength. I just didn't want to cover up my magnetic force. Okay, so the force, seeming we haven't slowed down or sped up. And then I can give you some more dotted lines and say, yep, we're going to be turning that direction then. And this is starting to take the shape of something that you know and love. So we can put another force vector on here. The force will be that direction. And the velocity at that instant is that direction. This is velocity and velocity, and you see what's happening here. It's a very lovely thing. If we continue this path, we find that, 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 when it gets to down here, it's going that direction and feeling a force that way. If we were to go to the Latin for a word to represent exactly the direction of that force, I would call it centripetal. And do you know what a centripetal force does? Do you know what a centripetal force does? Do you? Oh, shoot, it's center seeking, so it's going to cause this thing to move in a circle. The, ooh, we've usually had something at the center of the circle, right? Look at this. This charge is orbiting nothing. There's nothing there, but it goes in a circle because that's stable motion inside of a magnetic field. It doesn't slow down. It doesn't speed up because the direction of the force is always normal to the direction of the velocity. Remember this right-hand rule? Yep. And this one, the direction of the velocity and the direction of the force are always at right angles to each other, so circular motion is possible. Uniform circular motion. Beautiful! Beautiful! And we'll see so many applications of that, but what if the charge is positive? I mean, negative. We already did positive charge. For this one, I'll have a negative charge, and I'll say that it is going this direction. And if we put the velocity, uh, oh man, I gotta use my left hand. I'm gonna put velocity that direction and then curl the magnetic field down that way and say the force is this direction. And to make a very long story short, we will find beautiful circular motion again. I'll just fill in everything right now. Let me ask you a question. What if the mass were more? If one of these had more mass than the other, then would the circles be identical? Would the forces be identical? Does the force depend on mass? Does the acceleration depend on mass? Tell me about radius. Think about all of those things. Because I will not discuss them now. We'll talk about them in class. So, the force is always inward towards nothing. There's nothing here. It's just magnetic field all over the place, and uniform magnetic field causes uniform circular motion. Yay! 
for charges moving in. But what if I had a charge going this direction? If I had a charge going this direction, and I try to use this right hand rule to find the force, I'd say velocity is up, and magnetic field is down into the page. I'm gonna break my finger in order to do this correctly, and the problem is, that means there's no force. If the velocity is up and the magnetic field is down and we go to this equation, we say magnetic force is Q times V cross B. If you cross V into B, you'll find that the angle between V and B is 180 degrees. And you know what the sign of 180 degrees is? I do. So you don't get a force. If you're trying to break your finger, chances are you better not break your finger. You're just not going to get a force. So you don't worry about it. Now the beautiful thing is you can make a, oh man, you can make a velocity selector. This is really, really cool. Let's say you've got, um, <clears throat> let's say you've got a, a winery and you're growing grapes and you want to know exactly how much flow is going through the vines because that tells you how healthy the vines is. Want flow rate. And so what you're going to do is inside of there, you've got positive and negative ions flowing around and some beautiful stuff happens. But I'm suggesting that you make a magnetic field. Let's say um, you make a magnetic field like, uh, what do you want to do? Into the page here. Make a magnetic field into the page. And at the same time, you make an electric field that's Oh man, let's make an electric field that's going, say, this direction. Uh-huh, or, I mean, there are a lot of different ways that we could do this, but this would cause only a certain, this is the electric field, and this is the magnetic field. You know that uh, you've got two kinds of forces here. There's the charge times the electric field. That force is going to be in full effect and we can call that the electric force. And the magnetic force is QV cross B. And this one's at a right angle and that one is parallel to the force. And so only the, the charges that have the exact correct velocity will make it through here without turning. Or you could simply put the magnetic field on and then measure the, mag the electric field. If you measured the electric field, then you could find out how many charges are being slammed into the wall as they're trying to go through here. They're getting slammed into the wall because of that magnetic field. And you could find out, well, assuming you know the density of the uh, ions in the, the uh, vine, and you probably do want to know that, then you'd be able to measure the electric field to determine, how do you measure an electric field? I guess you just put a plate of metal right here, and another plate of metal right there, and you hook that sucker up to a voltmeter. Let's do it. Then you've got, uh, wow, wow, okay, so let's put a uh, positive charge going through here. A positive charge, assuming we don't have an electric field, a positive charge going that direction would feel a force this direction. <clears throat> So this plate would become very positive. And this plate, well, negative charges, I'm going to have to use my left hand, negative charges going this way would feel a force that direction. And so this plate becomes very negative. Oh man, we are creating an electric field with a magnetic field and a velocity. Beautiful.